For those of you who might not know, Billy Lord is the daughter of Carrie Fisher. She was one of the stars of Ryan Murphy's horror comedy series Scream Queens and has since followed Murphy over to the world of American Horror Story. Lord starred in the recent Oz, Cult and it looks like Deadline is confirming that she will return for the upcoming 8th season, which is rumored to be called Oz, Radioactive. Lord will star alongside Sarah Paulson, Evan Peters and Kathy Bates, and Joan Collins, who will play Evan Peters' grandmother. Are you excited about this casting? Make sure to hit us up and let us know what you think in the comments below or on Facebook, Twitter, and or Instagram. American Horror Story is an anthology horror drama series created and produced by Ryan Murphy and Brad Falchuk. The Emmy and Golden Globe winning franchise is produced by 20th Century Fox Television. Source Sad News as it's been confirmed that iconic graphic designer Bill Gold, who was responsible for creating thousands of film posters, has passed away in his old Greenwich, Connecticut home at 97 years old. Gold's career stretched back decades to the early 40s, where he designed posters for films like Yankee Doodle Dandy, The Big Sleep, and the classic Bogart, Bergman film Casablanca. Over the next several decades, Gold would work with directors such as Alfred Hitchcock, Ridley Scott, Stanley Kubrick, Desmond Davis, Oliver Stone, and many, many more. Some of his most famous works were done for many of Clint Eastwood's westerns, William Friedkin's The Exorcist, John Borman's Deliverance, Kubrick's A Clockwork Orange, and a multitude of posters for the James Bond franchise. Per THR, Gold is survived by God his wife, Susan, son Bob, daughter-in-law Joanne, daughter Marcy, grandson Spencer, granddaughter Dylan and her fiancé Justin, great-nephew Jaron and man's best friend, Willoughby. We send our deepest condolences to his family in this sad time. However, we also send our gratitude for a man whose work fascinated and intrigued countless audiences over more than 70 years. I remember walking through a movie theater's halls and delighting in looking at movie posters, imagining what their stories could hold. I can only believe that other children over the years looked at Gold's work and wondered the same thing about those films. Screenwriter Greg Russo has signed a deal with Machinima to pen an adaptation of the FEAR. Video game franchise, The Hollywood Reporter has confirmed. The article did not specify whether the adaptation would be in the form of a film or a series. Russo, who is a lifelong gamer, will work with Machinima on creating and developing the FEAR. Adaptation, although we don't know much else at this point. Machinima are a subsidiary of Warner Brothers and it probably won't surprise you to learn that the FEAR franchise has also been owned by WB since 2009. In other words, Warner Brothers were bound to give us a live-action adaptation of FEAR at one point, so we're not too surprised by this development. Russo, who is also writing the scripts for the Mortal Kombat and Resident Evil reboots, was quoted as saying the following, As a lifelong gamer, it's an absolute honor to partner with Machinima, the preeminent provider of digital content to gamers worldwide. FEAR holds a special place in my heart. I'm excited to bring my personal passion to this and future projects and can't wait to see where our partnership goes from here. An acronym for First Encounter Assault Recon, the FEAR. Games focus on an elite task force who fight to stop Alma Wade, a young girl with incredible psychic powers, from tearing apart the fabric of reality. Legendary film director John Carpenter served as story consultant on the third game, which we awarded a highly positive review back in the day. We'll bring you more on Machinima's adaptation when it becomes available. We've been paying a lot of attention to the young filmmaker Alex J.
man around these parts, because his projects are so unique and innovative that we can never wait to see what he'll cook up next. Man has just released his latest short, Retina, on his Space Oddity Films YouTube channel, and you can give it a watch below. It's just under 2 minutes long and doesn't contain any dialogue, but this is still a short which will keep you up at night. Retina is described as being about a young man's fight to shut off his laptop camera turns deadly. It was written and directed by Man, and stars Dan J. Johnson in a singular performance. Retina also contains some gruesome images, and is most definitely not safe for work.